So hi guys, this is your girl Sam and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be the episode 4 of our TikTok makeup inspired content. So we have done the night and day glam, the two of them, the baddie, and for this look, we're gonna do a Korean makeup look. So if you wanna know how will I play this look, then please continue watching. So let me share my thoughts about Korean makeup. So for Korean makeup, they are more on dewy skin. So they are more focusing on the skin rather than other parts of the face. So ang mangyayari is our foundation that we'll be using is dewy. The next na napansin ko sa kanila is their brows. Their brows are more straight than the western makeup. Because it makes them look young. Kaya, they tend to draw their brows as much as possible na straight. The next is for the eyeshadow and the liners. Since they have, since they don't have any leads, so mostly their eyeshadows focusing on here and pataas siya. Their eyeliners as well is straight. Straight yung eyeliners nila. Next is for their contouring. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, contouring sa kanila is just shading. Meaning, hindi siya ganon ka instead, uh, I mean, hindi siya ganon ka uh, intense like the western makeup. They are more um, shaping siya. Parang uh, bronzing. They just um, put the color back on their face. So, for the lips, the, the popular ombre lips. So, ayun lang. So, yung shading, ay you mean yung contouring sa kanila was more on the nose. They focus more on the nose. So, it's gonna be a talk through video. So, Let's get started. So since I mentioned a while ago that Korean focuses more on their skin, I've already done my skincare and applied the products that I usually use. And now I'm priming my face using the Maybelline Master Prime so that the foundation that we would apply later on would be smooth and there will be no um, lines or scratches at all. Next is for the foundation. As you may notice, Korean skin, they actually don't have pores. And my skin is not perfect. So I mentioned a while ago that the foundation that we'll be using is a dewy foundation. However, I prefer more the for the coverage, that's why I go for the L'Oreal Infallible one because Korean skin is so good and so smooth. So we need a little coverage on that area. So for the concealer, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer because I want to brighten up my under eyes and to cover up uh, those bags. I'll be contouring my face so if you can notice Korean face they are slimmer than usual face of other um, Asian countries so I'll be using a color tint this one is from color red in the shade Jordan to make my face a little slimmer and we'll be blending it so that it would look more natural Next, for the brows, since Korean makeup is more 
um, on the straight brows than the western one I'll be using a brow soap to tame my brows and to um, shape it straight so as you can see I'm flicking it upwards so that I can put the products on all the hairs that I have and will be shaping it afterwards so next I'll be using a pomade and I'll be drawing my brows straight so I'll be outlining the lower part and connecting it on the upper part so don't forget to blend your eyebrows to make it more seamless and on the So my brows are naturally have arched so as much as possible I'm drawing it straight so to make it more straight I'll be using a concealer to conceal and to erase those areas that would have a little arch so I'll be concealing just the lower area of the brows don't forget to blend your concealer so what's ever left on the concealer that I put on my hands I'll be priming I'll be use it as my primer on the eyes and we'll spread it all over the lids so for the eyeshadow I'm using the squad cosmetics squad leds and this is in serene palette so first I'll be setting the concealer that we apply using the lighter shade on the palette Next, um, I'll be using a lighter color to, to be my transition shade and applying it all over the lids. shade on the palette I'll be putting it outside the crease and blending it inwards So Korean makeup is more on the glitter side guys. If you would notice the eyeshadows of the K-pop idols that were in trend right now, they more on glitters. using the darkest shade and I'll be applying it on my lower lash line. So same goes with the glitters since they want more lower lashes to be to be seen I'll be applying the glitters there as well. So I've already applied my eyeliner and as you can notice it's more straight 
So next is I'll be applying a mascara but first let me curl my eyelashes and I'll be applying the mascara. This one's from Maybelline and it's the Hyper Curl Mascara. powder instead I'll be putting a blush since I've mentioned a while ago that Korean makeups tend to make them look younger I'll be putting the blush um, on the cheekbones on the center area instead of putting it upwards so uh, uh, before I will put my highlighter I'll be setting my face using the Lux Organics Miss by Anko and here I am highlighting my face, my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and my chin. So highlighters will help us to achieve the doing look that Korean makeup um that Korean makeup has. So I'll be highlighting the nose as well. Of the nose. So, of course, we'll be doing an ombre lips. So, here I'm using a local brand. This one's from Shop with Natural, and I'll be using the shade Mayumi on the outer corner of the lips, and we'll be patting on the shade Hiraya inside and blending it outwards. On doing an ombre lips, it's very important that you blend the lipstick outwards. And here's the final look. Guys, if you like this video, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And click the notification bell to get updated at my video. Again, this is your girl Sam and I'll see you on my next video.